Hi everyone, Igor here from Mars Talk. Perseverance and Ingenuity are making tremendous progress on Mars, but now we turn to yet another rover that is going to attempt its Martian landing soon. Yes, we are talking about Jurong, the Chinese rover that entered Mars orbit in February 2021 as part of Tianwen-1, the first ever Chinese mission to the Red Planet. So in this video, Joe and I are going to give you a brief breakdown of the instruments aboard Jurong. Let's go. Over to you, Joe. Hey everyone, Joe here. So the first cool thing about Jurong is the Mars Surface Composition Detector, or Mars Code. Mars Code is capable of performing shortwave infrared reflectance spectroscopy, as well as laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy on surface targets of up to 7 meters in distance. Or, in other words, it will study Martian rock composition by either observing the reflected infrared light or by shooting lasers at it. Pew pew! Additionally, Mars Code includes a micro-imaging camera that takes high-resolution pictures of the targets being studied. And if the detector finds elements such as carbon, hydrogen, phosphorus, oxygen, and sulfur, that could also provide evidence of life on the red planet's surface. Back over to you, Igor. Thanks, Joe. The multispectrum camera, or the MSC, is located on the rover's mast and is the main camera which Jurong will use to take images of the landing and roving areas. These images will help determine the composition of Martian soil and the distribution of different materials throughout the red planet's surface. This process will actually combine two instruments, the MSC and the Mars Surface Compound Detector, or Mars Code, that we talked about before. Together, they will look for minerals which would suggest the past existence of ancient lakes, alluvial continents, and other former water-related landforms. The subsurface penetrating radar will gather data of the Martian surface and subsurface. SPR is made of a double ground penetrating radar, or two pairs of antennae. One pair of antenna that will penetrate to a depth of 10 to 100 meters, and one pair of antenna with finer resolution for depths between 3 to 10 meters. SPR will help us further understand Martian geology and its rock layers, and look for frozen water and frozen CO2 deposits and study them. It will also determine how thick the upper Martian soil really is. The next one is the Navigation and Topography Camera, the NTC, or Navigation and Terrain Camera, the NATCAM. This double camera system is located on top of Jurong's mast. It has two identical stereo cameras capable of producing 360-degree views of the Martian surface for navigation purposes, but it will also be used for scientific purposes. The NATCAM images will be used to analyze the surrounding terrain and choose targets for Mars Code and MSC and provide context for the data produced by these two instruments. Also, Jurong has the Mars Surface Magnetic Field Detector, or Mars Magnetic Field Observation Station. This is the magnetometer located on the top board, capable of detecting Mars magnetic fields with a very high resolution and sensitivity. The magnetic field detector will work together with the Mars magnetometer on the Tianwen-1 orbiter, analyzing the Martian ionosphere conductivity and studying its currents. For studying climate, there is another cool instrument on Jurong, and that is the Mars Meteorological Measurement Instrument, the MMMI, also known as Mars Climate Detector or Mars Climate Station. This is literally a weather station, composed of a sound and wind field measurement probe on the rover's mast and a gas temperature and pressure measurement probe on the rover's body. These instruments will measure the temperature and air pressure of the Martian surface and perform in situ measurements of wind field parameters. This will help characterize the surface climate and the environmental characteristics of Mars and even seasonal variations of the weather. Apart from that, it will monitor the sounds of Mars' surface, so we can expect new sounds coming from Utopia Planitia. And there you have it. We're really excited to see the scientific data that comes back from this mission. And so if you like this quick catch-up video, please make sure to click the like and subscribe button down below. And remember, like us, always stay curious.